Okay, what's going on? It's PJ 437 Motorsports here again. Uh, today, I got a tire leaking down on my little Sonoma. So I'm going to uh, throw a jack under the control arm down there. I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to spray the dirt off while I spin it. Uh, spray some soapy water on it. See if I can find where it's leaking. And hopefully put a plug in it. So I don't have to keep putting air in it every day and a half, two days. <clears throat> uh, soapy water help you see air leaking. And there we go. And you can see the bubbles. There's a little hole right there. Looks like probably from a staple or something. All right, first step is you gotta ream the hole with the reamer. Which can be a challenge. There we go. You can hear that roughness when it goes through the cords. Well, you know you're in far enough to actually push the plug in to the inside of the tire. And you want to open it up best you can to make it easier on getting the plug in there. And you get a plug.
It's also something good to have on hand at your house. You can use it on pretty much anything, lawnmowers, ATVs if you have them. And you gotta squeeze this through the little opening there. So you can use this to push your plug in the tire. Which can be tricky. If you have to, you can get a pair of pliers. Get it enough through to grab it. There we go. And you want it somewhere in the middle, like so. Oh, don't drop it in the dirt. And we'll take some. Universal rubber cement. Apply it to the plug itself just to make sure it seals, sticks to the tire. And it kind of works as a lubricant too. holes big enough and then insert the plug Ooh. this is why I say if you got the hole large enough for the plug to go in these things can be a trick tricky I've also seen people use a drill bit and a drill to make the hole big enough. Uh, I think it's a quarter inch drill bit for average size plug. I'm gonna try to get it with the reamer. some tail out like that because that's what I'm gonna call them is the tails and then with a quick pull pull the tool back out and then your plugs in there and I always like to need this excess residue in there just to make sure it's sealed Right, and then you let it sit up for a little bit and we'll trim the excess off so it doesn't get snagged and pull itself out All right, I'm gonna top the tire off before I cut the plug off with the razor blade <clears throat> So we'll leave it there Take a razor blade. I'm gonna leave a little bit sticking out, but not much. And just slice it off. Don't cut your finger. And that's it. All right, so that's plugging a tire basically. Just something I had to do. Part of normal life. Um, if you don't feel competent in doing something like that, definitely run it to a uh, service station that does tires. Uh, and they can either patch it for you on the inside or plug it. I don't know what the 
what some shops do so it kind of varies with whatever whatever their policy is so you have to think about that they might even try to sell you a tire but like i say plug kits probably 10 15 bucks at your local auto parts store in a little bit of time it might take you a couple tries to get it done but you know don't get stirred discouraged you figure one plug a little bit of time you spent two bucks you know over time it saves you some money on having to keep replacing tires or paying a service station to take care of it so uh, if it helps it helps for you anyway thanks for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you don't mind <clears throat> helps the uh youtube algorithm out help get the uh, videos out and uh help the channel get seen by more people uh, if you found it helpful please comment and thanks for watching and also don't forget to check me out on 437 motorsports on instagram